Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Saturday Bakersfield Speedway Bud Night, Budweiser Nationals 2013. This is the C main event for the Hobby Sox. A lot of surprises in this one, a lot of big hitters, and we're going to see only the top 10 will transfer. <laughs> it is a mess. There are so many cars piling into turns three and four. It is ridiculous. Look at Humphreys trying to make a move around Hossfield. Hossfield throws it under. Quinn for the lead. Ahead of your leaders, three wide for second. Here we go. Hold on to them, bats. Four wide, and we have one spun out, and he's in reverse trying to get out of the way. Gotcha. <laughs> We're on lap number eight, and the sixth car just stole tractor tire. <laughs> Lawler, Lawler's taking it with him. Oh, this is going to get exciting. It always does. Checkered flag, I don't even, oh, Hosfeld gets it. The battle for second was the crazy one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, 15 laps, B main action, green flag is in the air. Hold on to your hats. Stuff. And the 13, Oatley spins it out in the center of three and four. This could be ugly, and it is, for the most part. Now that's going to get wild figure eight action. 3D, yeah. Smith. He's trying a new uh, aerodynamic package. Oh, He's McKinley up and almost into the wall. It's going to be, I have no idea. <laughs> it's Jones holding up. And, and Childress. Childress making it the last car into the A main event. Jake Jones, Rich Denman battled it out until that last lap, and they went wild. And Denman was looking very strong to win it. Jake Jones with an outside momentum. So that means that the only no, according to the transponder, it was Denman that got it at the line. B main event for the Sport Mods, ten laps, and I believe five cars transfer. Huge pack of racing right there. Oh, contact between Kirby and Crum. And that's going to send the 21 of Crum around. Griffith going to win the race. Contact for second. They held on to it. Three wide still. All these guys are in the main, so be careful. All these drivers blocking in. Elliott trying to make it. Kirby's going to clinch it. But uh, the 21's on a mission. Who do you think he's going to talk to? Uh, let's see. I mean, if you had to guess. Like maybe the 5K? Like maybe contact? <laughs> maybe she's uh, practicing off-roading. B main event for the IMCA Modifieds. We go green. And it's struggling. Three wide down the front straightaway. And they're all trying to hustle into the show. But out of turn number four, Coffee taking the checkered flag. Gatson, the transfer driver in this B main. All right, time for the second B main for the IMC modified. Gantis and Burke going at it. And Burke with a good exit, he's gonna have the lead on lap number six. Griffin now to the inside of Lauer. Lauer, another driver who had a lot of damage he had to fix on that car. Lauer always running the high side from Santa Maria here to Bakersfield. It's always fun to watch him hanging out. Out of turn number four, Cody Burke's going to make it into the A main, as well as Griffin, Laney, Lauer, nice and spark. Yes. Nice spark shift. Yeah, it was beautiful. Late model B main event. Four cars transfer out of this one. We go green. Take the B main. Number one for the late model. Second spot goes to Wyatt. Third, Laney, and the last transfer spot. Larry Children. B main number two for the late models. Oh, Tom Laney slips up. Contact and Guglamoni takes the spot. It can happen that fast. Out front, Barnett. Break all, Moore, and Guglamoni pulling away from Laney. Looks like our top four are set. And that the last B main of the night. Six cars, six laps, setting up for the main event starting spots. We go green. Jesse Stowell from Missouri takes the checkered flag in the trophy dash. Saturday night, Bakersfield Speedway. 
Who's in this one, Jeffrey? Finish off the lineup. All right, that's Pombo that you're looking at. Anthony Pombo on the one end. The 11W machine, Marshall Weaver, as we go green flag racing for this 30 lapper. Ooh, Pombo sideways and going to gather it up. Of Mike Lurwell. Oh, contact in a turn one. Brady Bell. Oh. And in the bumper of Kiefer. Three wide into turn number one. It's Clay Daly, Welch, and Dutton. And in the middle of the 97 machine, we're turning each other to free. Dutton, he's in the mix. Three wide, four wide with the Super Streets. And the 88 machine just spun out down the back straightaway. Oh, boy. What? Pretty much just looking for a break this year. Well, I think he got it. Out of turn number four, Budweiser National to the Lee Jensen in the 72. Who's going to get fourth? Kiefer Randolph Daly. On your winner on a big brand tire super street shootout, Lee Jensen. We go green, Sport Mod main event. Carol Hood off to an early lead. Biker with the run to the outside. McGowan on the high side, four wide down the back straightaway. Hoff there in the five machine, reeking back in the nine. Oh, it's tight down the front straightaway. Schweitzer in the three. Jeffrey, this battle up front has been fantastic. And not a surprise, John Piker, champion in the Sport Modifieds. Daryl Hood, veteran and always heavy contender. The heavy. ringleader. If Johnson and Ethan Dotson in the 74, also uh -oh. back there. We're, I, so we're shortcut racing. I think we are. Call it redemption, call it whatever you want, but out of turn number four, Daryl Hood's going to capture the victory of the Budweiser Nationals 2013. He's out of the car, he can hear you now. <laughs> there he is, champion, 2013, 28th annual Bud National. For the H&S Body Works, hobby stocks, ready to go here. So many of these hobby socks showing up, Tommy. And what would you know? Uh, all Johnson front row. Steven and Chad. What a surprise. Going to be on the pole here. Then James Cecil and Robert Swearingen. We go green. That's your top four starters. Kyle Five, Christensen, McGowan, Cervantes. Side by side racing. We've seen these two beat and bang for the lead before. And they have no problem doing so. And now it's officially wheel-to-wheel -wheel battling for the lead halfway. Oh boy, oh boy. It's tied down the front straight away. I think I heard a tire go. Yep, Team Mc McGowan. McGowan's 32. Now she's turning right. <laughs> Loft is in the Three wide battle for the lead in the hobby stocks. Oh, Mangella up and over the wall. And he is coming slowly to a stop. Oh, Wonkum catching some Aaron Stewart. It's going to Dukes of Hazard as we take out the track tire. Where he likes to run. Steven Johnson down low. Checkered flag. Steven Johnson taking it on the last lap over Denman. What a race. What a finale here in 2013 wow. for the Hobby Stocks. Steven Johnson, no surprise. Your victor tonight, Bud Nationals. Larry Hood, Hoag starts it away, and we are stacking them up. We're going nuts. That's why like someone did finish the starting line. The longest main event we've seen for the Modifieds, and in front of your leader, we got two cars tangled up. Childress and Griffin with a split with Chad McTooth inside battling through lap traffic. And they. Your winner in the modifies Friday and Saturday.
Bobby Hogue the fourth. Salinas, California, Bobby Hogue the fourth sweeps the IMCA Modifieds here at the Baker Shield Speedway 28th Annual Budweiser Nationals. Late model main event, 50 laps, Jesse Stovall. Tony Toast, your top row in this one. Green flag is out. We are racing. Late model, but national figure field speedway. We've got a battle for the lead. Pappage to the inside of Stovall with Hogs right there in the mix. All battling it out with each other. Our mentality on Low Budget TV is film where the action Oh, is. contact in the 13 machine in front of the The contact happened when break all was on the inside of our leader, Pappage. Contact between the leader and the lapper. Oh, big backup here. And Mike Kirby, you see they're still banging into each other. The Superman car is wedged inside of Mike Kirby. Flat. Look at this battle for the lead, Bruin. And when you know it's there's another flat tire or some broke on Google Money. Oh car. yeah. That was two laps to go. Tony Toast in the 91T trying to catch his teammate in the 91P. And out of turn number four, winner of the 50 lap play model race, it's Pappage. And Stovall beating Ho for third. I think that's the way that team would have liked to finish. Now, if you ask Toast, maybe you would have a little bit different rendition of the hey, story. Hey, hey, Toast won at Santa Maria on Low Budget TV. Pappage's turn was tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Pappage wins the late model feature here at the 28th annual Budweiser Nationals, night number two. Look at that beautiful.